Good morning, friends. Travis here. The last couple of days, um, probably the better part of a of a week or more, um, I found myself in a curious place. I found myself in a place uh, where I don't, I don't have any words to pray. Um, I'm speechless, and I have found myself um, coming and sitting with the Lord in silence, and having uh, some guilt that I don't have any words. But I have come to freely give myself and and admit that uh, maybe my most uh, genuine prayer is silence. I was reminded uh, many times that the psalmist uh, said that he also um, was rendered to silence. I was thinking about, in particular, Psalm 62, where I've been this, this week. It says, for God alone, O my soul, I wait in silence, for my hope is from him. He only is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall not be shaken. I've made it as far as the silence. I haven't been able to offer too many words, and even sitting with those uh, that love me and, and that I love, been a mentor yesterday, um, I just admitted, um, that I don't have many words. I was reminded in uh, the letter to the Romans that the Apostle Paul wrote, speaking in line with the sufferings that many of those in that church at that time and Paul uh, were experiencing. He said this in talking about the Spirit. The Spirit helps us in our weakness, Romans chapter 8. For we do not know what to pray as we ought, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groans too deep for words. And he who searches hearts knows what is in the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for the saints according to the will of God. I've read that a number of times and recalled it. I've heard it. I think that it actually has, what I know up here has actually come to personify an emotion in my heart and in my soul these last days. Maybe you are with me in this time. Maybe you've been there. Or maybe you'll remember this for a time in the future when you are speechless, your words are just gone. Know that that indeed may be the most beautiful prayer of all, for it is a prayer of surrender, admitting that our words fall well short. Even in the days that I have many words, the truth is my words fall gravely short of what the Spirit can do in interceding on my behalf. May the Spirit intercede for you, and may you become aware of the Spirit's interceding on your behalf with groans in a language that is too deep for mere human words. Be encouraged today in that, and don't give up. Bye, friends.